Hello guys, <clears throat> so today we're going to be talking about a different topic. So today we're not going to be doing clan reveal videos in Metal Mega. Today we're going to be talking about something that I think uh, a lot of new players out there needs to know. So I'm going to be doing a series on these types of videos. But um, yeah, so today we're going to be talking about uh, stamina and the best way to train stamina. And how do you train stamina, especially for those noobs out there who doesn't know. This is going to be a guide on how to train stamina. This is a guide from coming from my friends who are already pro at the game. So yeah, uh, let's hold that intro and let's get straight into this video, guys. So, okay, so now that uh, that's out of the way, let's go straight into this video. So first of all, um, I want to, uh, I want to first, um, I want to first do a couple of things so um, I would just want to first uh, separate this video into different sections and parts okay so first one the first section will be about how important is stamina in Mighty Omega and trust me it's very important so the second part will be how do you train stamina as a noob that you know just started out in the game and third is how do you uh, train stamina as like an intermediate player and fourth is like how do you train stamina as a pro and yeah uh, let's go straight to the first part get straight into the first part of this video which is how important is stamina in Mighty Omega. So as you guys know, like every time I move, as you guys can see, every time I move, you see this blue bar right here and how it's dropping. Uh, how every time I punch, it's dropping. How every time I dash, it's dropping. How every time I move, it's dropping. Um, that, my friends, is stamina, okay? So the reason why stamina is going to be critically and very, very important in this game is because you're gonna be punching a lot, you're gonna be running a lot, you're gonna be using moves a lot, and in fact, even blocking, even getting hit while blocking takes stamina. So your, your stamina is gonna get drained really, really, really fast. It's gonna get used a lot, and that's why stamina is definitely going to be very important. Now, okay, so what, why do I care if my stamina is gonna go to down, okay? So the reason why you should care when your stamina drops and goes to the red is very very simple. I'm gonna show you right here why. Yeah, I'm gonna show you why. So as you guys can see right now, my stamina is at the red. So if it stays there for a few seconds, you're gonna get uh, knocked. Okay, you're gonna faint. It's called a faint. Okay. Now this effect is similar to the effect that uh similar to the effect that getting knocked when you have zero health has. Okay. So basically, if you have zero health, you're gonna get knocked and the effect of having zero stamina or having red stamina for a few seconds is the same with getting knocked. And basically, when you're in this state, you can get grip. So even if you have like max durability and you're not taking any damage, if you get knocked because of stamina, you're gonna f and you're gonna faint. And you're Second gonna get part of this video. Um, we're gonna be talking about uh, the uh, the noob way to train your stamina. So basically, this way is um, you're gonna be training your stamina basically. So this is the uh, beginner way to train stamina. So I'm gonna show you guys the beginner way to train stamina. Okay. So the beginner way, <laughs> the beginner way to train stamina is um, basically doing roadworks. I'm not gonna get one right now because um, I'm not gonna get one right now because. Uh, it's it takes really long to do roadworks roadworks, which is why a lot of people kind of hate them Which is why a lot of people kind of hate doing roadworks So yeah, um There's also a few so basically every style gym like boxing taekwondo kure except I think kure doesn't have one so I think boxing uh, Muay Thai most uh, combat gyms has has roadworks in it, so yeah, most combat gyms have road work in it, and um, they are really, really good. But the best one for you to do road works, the the best one that I've seen, um, the best one I've seen is basically Muay Thai. So my friends told me that in Muay Thai, uh, you actually gain a little bit more stamina for your road works. Actually, not a little bit, actually a lot. So basically, if you get road works here, uh, it's very, very long. You're gonna go from here. From here to there and to there again so I can actually do it right now I'm gonna do it right now and I'm gonna show you how much our stamina I'm gonna get okay so I'm gonna do one road work right now and basically you have to have breathing mask okay that's one thing that I forgot to say you have to have a breathing mask and also yeah breathing mask so breathing mask you don't need a light vest 
but I recommend you get a light pass so you quick would work and I'm just gonna do it right now I'm gonna be back once it's done as you guys can see right here so I basically gained like 24 stamina from that and also 0 0.09 speed so uh, yeah uh, stamina uh, here in Muay Thai even if you're not a Muay Thai main is the best road work so if you want to do road works uh, do this okay basically just go over here get some road works get your breathing mask and get uh, and you know use this part path and also, one thing that I men forgot to mention is that uh, when you're doing your roadworks, there are actually a few things to improve it. Uh, you should run um, a zigzag, like a, in a zigzag pattern like this. You should run in a zigzag pattern like this, and this uh, increases your stamina. I've tested it, and there are actually videos out there that tested it. And yeah, uh, this increases the way increases your stamina gain when you're running and doing roadworks. Now, uh, there are there is one thing that I need to mention as well, uh, the use of light vest basically. So basically, using light vest when doing uh, road works, I think actually helps as well. So when doing road works, uh, you should use the, your light vest as well. But um, I don't think that you can benefit from light vest if you have zero muscle. So um, as a beginner, here's actually what I suggest you do. The first thing that I suggest you train is not stamina but actually muscle, okay? Muscle, uh, upper and lower muscle. Why? Because the more muscle you have, the more stamina gain that you will get. So for example, uh, I have like 150 muscle upper and 113 lower. I get a little bit more stamina than those people with uh, lower stamina muscle than me. So if you're a new player, you should strive to get like um, 50, you should strive to basically just get uh, your style that you want. So if you want to go like boxing, get enough muscle for boxing. If you want to go Muay Thai, get enough muscle for Muay Thai. And then, once you have your style and you have enough muscle, get light vest and breathing mask, then you should go do roadworks. In my opinion, that's the right way to do it. Like, muscle first. Now, for the intermediate part or basically the, uh, like, higher than noob section or the third section of this portion or uh, like the third uh, section of this method on training stamina the this method is you will actually need to have a lot more money so the reason why this will be a little bit more harder than the previous one is because um, you will have to actually have 120 money and mighty omega money Per session and it will give you uh, I don't know how much it gives but it gives a decent amount yeah then this is the requirements okay so basically uh, I suggest you start doing this when you have 250 stamina when you have enough for the third session that's basically when I suggest you do this because okay because uh, in the earlier in the earlier uh, in the earlier when you have low stamina, roadworks and treadmills give just about the same. Okay, actually, roadworks might be more because you, roadworks are cheap, even though they take more time. Treadmills are expensive, so I do not recommend you do this when you have only these two unlocked. Well, you can do it. Well, but if you're very lazy, you can start doing this at like 150. But that's only if you're very very lazy. It's gonna be more efficient if you start doing it at the third or fourth one. Okay, but basically do not do this in when you only have 50 stamina because it's gonna be very expensive The only people that I know that used uh, this to from level 1 to max is Those people who had a lot of robux and sold a lot of clan rules They sold a lot of stuff and they got a lot of stamina and they also have a lot of money Basically if you're very rich like you have 1 million mo cash you can probably do it as since uh, stamina 50 but if not I recommend you do it at stamina 150 so this is the third part this is basically the second part or the yeah the second method the intermediate method of gaining stamina now once you have like a lot of stamina like once you have 500 stamina that is when you're gonna go to the third part 
Okay, I mean that's when you're gonna go to the third method or the fourth section or the fourth part of this video. Let's go to that part. Okay, so the fourth part of this video or the fourth section of this video is for those who have 500 or higher stamina. Now, the thing you should do and the thing I recommend you do is you actually stop training stamina. Once you reach like 500 stamina, I recommend you stop training stamina and you start training your muscles. I recommend you get 200, 200 or like 300, 300 on your muscles. Go do slow push-ups, uh, uh, slow squats. Go do this until you have like 300 muscle. Why? Now why? Uh, muscle, the more muscle you have, the more stamina you will gain. Therefore, in those higher levels, when you have 500 stamina, you will be able to get more stamina. So basically, you will have more stamina and it's gonna be cheaper for you as well. So basically, you should train push-ups and squats first or upper and lower muscles once you have high stamina so you can actually earn more from stamina. Or else, if you don't want to train muscle, you're gonna have to waste so much money on treadmills just to gain decent stamina, okay? So basically, you need to get at least 200 muscles upper and lower, both 200-200, and this will increase your treadmills or your stamina gain exponentially from treadmills and even macro. Okay, so basically once you reach like 500 stamina, you should not, you should, you can continue doing treadmills but it's gonna be less efficient. So I suggest you, after you reach 500 stamina, you start to train your push-ups, you start to train your squats with your light vest and get to 200, 200 stamina, I mean 200, 200 muscle upper and lower. And then that's when you can start doing your treadmills because they will be more effective, they will be more efficient and you will have to spend less money on treadmills, okay? And yeah, basically that's the last part of this video. That's just the last suggestion that I have. That if you want to, the intermediate one is most people that goes on a stamina arc, they train their muscles first before they go train their stamina. Because muscles, uh, the more muscle you have in this game, the more slower you are and the more stamina that you drain. But muscles will also increase your stamina soft gap, which will heavily heavily increase help you more be more efficient when you're trying to gain stamina and losing muscle is very easy all you have to do is um all you have to do is uh, lose uh hunger and just run around and that's gonna be very easy to lose muscle it's gonna be very easy to lose muscle okay so that's gonna be the last part of this video Okay, so um, the last part that I have to mention that's very very important is you actually need to use your own money to do stamina. Basically, you can't use cards. <clears throat> so basically, like we all know in Mighty Omega, when you die, you can actually get robbed. And the money that you have, some of it can get lost. So the higher money that you have, the more money that you will lose, basically. So for everything else except the gym stuff, you need to use your... For everything else except the gym stuff, you can use your cards to buy it, but in gym, you need to have your money with you to do the macro, to do, I mean, to do treadmills. So basically, this means that if you are doing treadmills and somebody attacks you, you can get robbed and lose your money. Yeah, that's that. So there's a risk in using ma um, using treadmills. That's why I suggest you uh, do, that's why I suggest you do treadmills on a very low server. And also, um, one more thing is to make treadmills easier. There's a way to make treadmills easier, and that is by using macro. So um, there is free macro out there, Vivace's macro. I'm gonna ask him for permission if he will allow me to like make a video on his macro. But uh, yeah, I'll have to ask him permission first. But basically, you can use macros on treadmill, and it will help you get stamina a lot easier okay basically if you use macro on treadmills it will help you get stamina a lot easier but yeah there's always a risk since i got robbed once and i lost like 1k of my money and it's very dangerous to use macro especially if you have like a low ping especially if you have like low ping okay so yeah there's that yeah there's that and um a few more things that I would like to um, a few more things that I would like to point out is using breathing mask is very important because um, breathing mask 
increase will increase your stamina gain. It helps in your stamina gain quite a bit. And um, a light vest also helps a bit. Just not that much. Breathing mask is a bit more important than light than, than light vest. Oh yo. Okay, and yeah, uh, those are the things that I would those are the last few things that I would like to mention. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna show you guys what happens if you're fighting if you're fighting with low stamina. I'm gonna show you what happens if you're fighting with low stamina. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what happens if you're fighting that that's what happens when you're fighting with low stamina. And this is what's gonna happen, okay? That's what's gonna happen. If you're fighting with low stamina, that's what's gonna happen. So that's why you need to have high stamina or else you're gonna get you're gonna lose fights. Even if you have like health, you you saw my health, it's still like um close to max. It's Wait, not even half yet. Video. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace out guys. See you guys in the next video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm almost to I'm almost um I'm almost 800 subscribers, okay? I'm almost 1k, my friends. There's only like uh, 300 more subscribers for me to get 1k. And once I get 1k, I'm gonna get monetized. And once I'm monetized, I'm gonna make... I'm gonna try to do giveaways when I'm mon when I once I'm monetized, okay? So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm just gonna shoot the thumbnail right here. I'm just gonna shoot the thumbnail right here. Okay, wait. I'm just uh, zoom in right here. There we go. Okay. See you guys and see you guys in the next video. And yeah, peace out guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out everyone.